Coach Handsome, Coach Ugly, back at it. Trick him or hurt him. We're gonna go over our arm drags into some shots. There's a couple things I wanna point out. Why oh, do you look so serious? All right, let's go. All right, so, drags. Great move, awesome for setups. Great way to get your feet moving, keep your feet moving, but also get your opponent's feet moving, putting them in, putting them in the positions you want, um, getting off the shots that you want. Um, so I, I tell this to a lot of the kids I train that when you're getting ready for your match at a tournament, don't just, and I know we all have our thing, our, our little system that we do, but don't stand on the side of the mat and just do this weird, some of you guys got a weird hop tee. I don't, I don't even know what that is. But doing this hop, I know it's, you're getting your mind right, but the best way to get your mind right is to go through motion, right? Get, uh, get, get, get your, your pregame face on and, and get the system down and the things you wanna do. So a good drill is grab a partner, and if you're, if you're a person that does drags, just do this one. Tell them, hey, just keep putting your hand on my shoulder, I'm gonna turn your circle out, post on the other shoulder. So I'm here. I'm just, I'm just keeping them moving. So just keeping them moving. Now, you don't have to look awesome and try to go as fast as you can and mess up. It's just warming up. Warming up that neural, neuromuscular function, all right? Then you got your slap tracks. Okay, you're just, that's all you're doing. You're just, you're just getting ready. So that way, when you get out in the match, we all know that the first time we do something, it's usually the worst one. We go through it 10, 20 times, it gets better. So why go out on a mat and when the match starts, your first few are their worst ones. Get those out of the way, drill them before, before the match. Then when the match starts, you're, you're ready to go. All right, enough of that. We're gonna go over a double leg uh, with this drag. Now where I see a lot of guys going wrong is, is they do good with this or the slap drag, but they grab at the elbow. Now when you grab at the elbow, there's, you gotta incorporate the slip factor, right? If he pulls his elbow back, I lost it. You see what I'm saying? So what I wanna do is, I wanna grab the tricep or even the armpit. Some coaches like the armpit. But I'm gonna go with the tricep, right here. So that way, I got more of that slip factor right there, more surface area. So if he pulls back, I, I got something to hold on to, okay? Now the second thing is, when you get to the tricep, a lot of guys are here and they try to step with that outside leg and try to go around your opponent. All this is gonna do is a, a good opponent, is he just gonna circle out and you're gonna get reach. You're gonna get reaching or he's gonna redrag you, okay? So I want you to step in with that lead leg, right? The fastest way to point A, point B is a straight line, right? So if I'm here, tricep, I wanna step in. So no matter what, I've already, I've already cut that angle off, all right? Now when I step in, back a little bit. Yeah, right, no, right here. When I step in, do not stop your momentum. When you go in, the knee's driving, right? I'm here driving, packing the hips. All right? Don't stop your momentum, right? Don't get to here and then reach. So now that my arms are away from my body, your body and your arms come in together, okay? Get that chest in there. All right, so I, I like chop drags. Doesn't really make a difference. This one takes a little bit more time. So if I'm here, I'm just chop drag, boom, right there. Fall forward, okay? Boom, right there. Driving that knee forward, shoot my arms. I, if I can lock it, great. Shoot my arms, looking up, lifted. All right, so, step in the middle, keep driving forward, attack the hips. Now. Some guys know it's coming, all right? So, they're really quick with their hips. So, this is a right leg lead, and I go doing the same thing. I step in and he pulls it back, all right? Real quick. I don't wanna be reaching, he says back, for the double here. You see this arm out here so stretched out? He's gonna bring it back and underhook it. Now if you come up, <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble. You're gonna get tossed, okay? So this little trick I learned, very effective. If you like it, do it. I'm telling you, it's very effective, especially if you can lock your hands. So when I get to here, I go, I go nice and slow. 
I step in, he pulls that leg back. Instead of chasing that leg, my hand is gonna shoot under his legs. Here, turn this way. Great, step. My hand is gonna shoot here, and this arm's still gonna go to here, even if I was doing the double. And I'm gonna lock up here. I'm gonna lock, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is drive up. Some guys, if they're sprawling here, so sprawling me, I can literally just lift up, bring them down to the ground there, okay? So what it looks like? I'm attacking that far, far hit, right? So I'm here, boom, or you start to get, get him reaching, chopping at the wrist, grabbing at the tricep, boom, boom, stepping in, he pulls it back. He already cut that angle. I'm still gonna drive my knee forward, but my arms are gonna shoot here. Now I'm gonna drive too. All right? Do that. One last time. You do some pull? Right there, okay? That's what I want. So we're down here. Chop. Steps. Now, I know I'm stopping here, just for coaching purposes, but remember, we don't stop our momentum. I'm just gonna shift this outside hand to the inside. So I'm driving through, boom, step up, drive, 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 drive. Right there. You good, old man? So there you go. Keep drilling it, keep warming up. Get, get practice partners that work well with you. I had a great practice partner in college. Shout out, Chris Harrington. Him and I worked together great. We knew each other, right? So if you got that partner, stick with them, okay? Work those drags. Work your level changes, okay? Work your, your footwork. That's how you wanna be on the side of the mat, especially when your opponent looks over and he's like, oh man, this guy's gotta be good. He's got, he's got new sneakers, he's moving good. He's got a tan, he's got bleach blonde hair. He's got a USA wrestling, it's intimidating. I don't know. I'm like out of breath. I don't even know why. <laughs> I had 